Hello guys and here we are with a new tutorial and basically in this tutorial I'm going to be going through um, how I created my background how you can add price boxes into your background and um, like top comment sections um, adding sections around box spots anything really and um, basically how you just um, outline different areas of your background on YouTube um, so yeah basically you're going to want to open up your YouTube channel so as you can see in mine I've already um, got areas outlined like top comment is awesome and my price box down the side now just before starting you want to make sure you've got something to um, define basically something that you can um, open into Photoshop and um, line up with so such as using the same template using the same template as the um, background already on your channel so before doing this um, just set your template as your background and um, then you can print screen your like this section here where the comments are or here and um, then you can add it into Photoshop and line the template up or you can add some text and line that up or something just something you can line um, just line up with basically so hopefully that makes sense and um, so just go into your channel print screen and now go into Photoshop file um, no 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 edit and paste control V and um, so now you've got your channel as it would look um, so just bring the opacity down a bit so you can see what you're doing and um, line it up so since I am using the same template I'm able to um, line the modules up and I'll be able to get this perfect because um, yeah it's just lined up as it would do uh, um, yeah alright so once you have your template lined up and everything set here you can just go ahead and you can um, outline comments and um, outline box sections or whatever you wish to do from this point onwards so I'm just going to create a new layer above the print screen and um, basically go around the top comment uh, I've made a mistake here and I've print screen too high so I'm just going to quickly print screen again and just keep this tutorial short so paste uh, bring the opacity down again um, get rid of this layer don't need that and uh, line it up so it's quite easy to line up because I know um, I'm using the same template as I uh, used on YouTube so I can just line it up by the template outline okay so once your template is lined up you can start going around the um, modules and it will be um, outlined correctly like for example um, some people may think that um, doing this you may have to do in trial and error but it's pretty it's very easy to do very easy to do you just print screen your channel and um, just work from there I guess okay so I'm just going to go uh, around with an outline again around the top comment um, it's done by just uh, going on the pen tool going around the corner right click in stroke path and um, you can have um, the uh, whatever it's called ticked I can't remember um, so now you can edit this color overlay uh, white um, outer glow okay now uh, you can just duplicate the point and add it around the image so it's much more accurate but I'm just going to go around each side so again stroke path uh, simulate pressure you can have this ticked or you can have it off at this point I've got it ticked um, in my original background I've got it off it just basically thins out the corners so okay and now I'm just going to duplicate both these points Control T, flip horizontal, and uh, now I can just add this to the other side of the comment section. Okay, um, quickly I'm just going to add some text, exact same thing, 
top comment is awesome color overlay outer glow color overlay to white in my case anyway ok and just line that up so now basically you've got your um, top comment is now awesome on your channel so um, I'm just going to go ahead and just create a very quick and um, simple price box down the side I'm not even going to list any prices just uh, it's basically the exact same um, you know idea really just um, add your box now I know that my this box isn't going to go under the text on my channel because I can see my text ones here so this box will appear under the text on my channel um, and that's basically how I do it. I don't, I don't um, keep placing them in different places until I get it correct. It's um, very easy to do once you've got your channel pasted on the page. Uh, in this case, I've just added a box, added a stroke outline, uh, changed the size to one and the outline to white. And um, I can just go in this box and I can just type in um, background uh, prices. And um, I could just go and list all my prices down here. You might want to put in a bit more detail than this. Uh, my original background box isn't very detailed anyway. My background isn't great, to be honest. I'm not putting too much effort on my own background. Um, but now you have your, well, you would have your price box. Uh, top comment is awesome. Um, you, I, I've just outlined all the box spots for some reason. Um, but that's basically how I did it. That's basically how I'm guessing uh, most people do it if they're adding a uh, price box and so you've got your price box you've got your top comment um, as awesome and yeah that's basically it um, just before I end this tutorial I just want to say uh, thank you guys for 627 subs right here uh, it's just awesome to um, have this many subs so soon actually uh, they're going up quite fast um, but I'm I'm only making this tutorial because I'm kind of falling a bit inactive at the minute so um, hopefully you guys actually do find this tutorial helpful some people hopefully and um, I will try and get a speed up tomorrow and um, yeah that's basically it um, this guy's a noob right here second comment and um, yeah thanks for watching guys uh, yeah goodbye